This presentation from Workforce Solutions discusses four people who are successful in the on-the-job training program, or OJT, as it's also known by. In OJT, people who qualify get an opportunity in a new job they may not otherwise have the skills to do at a livable wage. The employer takes a risk hiring an untrained person and training them, but they get workforce solution support in finding that person and in developing and implementing training and coaching the new person. And they end up with a dedicated employee who does the job the way the company wants. We're going to look at four real life people for whom OJT made a major job impact, understand the factors that made them successful, then what you can expect on the first day and in the next 30 to 90 days while in an on-the-job training program. The first success story we're going to talk about is Cindy Falker from Houston Furniture Bank. On September 2017, Cindy Falker lost her job due to Hurricane Harvey closing down the property that she was managing. Due to the number of properties that closed, never to reopen, opportunities for property management jobs were low. Cindy Falker started on-the-job training services at the Houston Furniture Bank on June 26, 2018 as a customer service representative. Cindy processes inventory, builds customer base, and answers customer inquiries. Skills analysis showed Cindy needed computer skills, company finance, and mattress recycling knowledge, and familiarity with community organizations. Cindy received 220 hours of computer skills training, including Microsoft Excel, Basic, and Advanced Word and PowerPoint. She created her own files with contact information for vendors and customers. She learned the Houston Furniture Bank computer software to control inventory, purchasing, ordering, and point of sale for the mattress production department. Lately, Cindy has learned how to install a Houston Furniture Bank bank manifesto that will break everything down into different categories so that the money goes to every department and they get their correct credit. The Director of Operations at Houston Furniture Bank says Cindy has played a key role in the development of their mattress production department. She runs the furniture outlet on Mondays, taking care of customers and balancing the financials at the end of the day for all sales that have occurred. We asked Cindy how did OJT help her, and she said when she lost her job to a Hurricane Harvey, she visited the Workforce Solutions office and they helped her build a whole new resume and find a job. She knew she had great people skills, but no computer skills. It was great that OJT helped her find this job, even though she didn't have experience. She feels you can't find a job in your own. She received great resources, such as gas cards, clothes, and a coach you could talk to, and she felt supported by the OJT program. When he asked her what she liked about her job, she said, I like to be here every day. Every day is a different day because I don't know where I'm going to be, and I think that's what Bill likes about me. I'm flexible and have been cross-trained in all the areas that make up Houston Furniture Bank. So what does the Houston Furniture Bank like about Cindy? Cindy's a great employee. She's dependable, she communicates well with everyone, and she's done a good job learning and developing new skills, said Bill Lindsay, Director of Operations of the Houston Furniture Bank. Our next success story is Alex Cullen. Alex served five years in the Marine Corps and was honorably discharged January of 2019. He began a job search applying to many places and positions. Alex had four interviews, but no offers. A recruiter from the OJT program reached out to him with an opportunity to work as a security officer with Janissary, a veteran-focused security firm. Given his background and transferable skills, Janissary had its challenges as Alex has done some security duty in the Marine Corps, but nothing that Alex could not handle. He learned the different rules and regulations about private company and event security. He found private sector employment was different than in the Marine Corps, and he had to learn to adapt. His supervisor, Jessica Burns, said Alex is one of our best new hires. His attitude is excellent, and there's room for him to grow in the company. However, in the first OJT performance review, 
Ms. Burns did note she'd like to see him take more initiative. Alex said that was going to be tough because he was used to taking orders. So he asked Alex, how did OJT help you? Well, Alex's OJT coach and Alex set a coaching plan for him to continue to exceed and setting new goals for himself, grow in his position, and proactively take on more challenges without being told in response to his feedback. Alex worked with the coach and started doing activities on his own initiative, such as coaching teammates. Alex was able to step into level three security officer doing private duty security for individuals and events. Alex is striving to become a supervisor and train others, and he's taking more classes to add licensing. We asked Alex what he likes about his job. Well, he said the pay is better and the experience is amazing. He has opportunities to grow and develop a career. It's enabling him to get his own place and a life in Houston. He can work towards his dream of becoming a private investigator. Next up is Alejandro Richards. Alejandro had seven years experience as a security officer, a lifeguard and customer service. He realized he had no career tra trajectory and had a lack of fulfillment. He used workforce solutions for assistance in finding something better. Alejandro attended a transglobal job fair at a workforce solutions office. Transglobal is a contractor providing delivery services for Amazon. Alejandro started as an Amazon delivery driver September 2019. Alejandro was trained in several areas to perform as a delivery driver, advanced safety driving, Amazon's basic and advanced technology systems, principles of pre-trip inspection, basic vehicle maintenance, independent packaging, and delivery. He completed OJT training the end of 2019. We asked Alejandro, how did OJT help you? He said, what I like most about the OGT program is it makes entering a field with little or no experience a lot easier. The program became a way for me to express myself to management. For example, I usually clocked in, worked hard, and hope I'd be recognized for the quality I brought to the team. The OJT program helped me build confidence by acting as a mediator for the progress report meetings and to be able to voice my interest in seeking new challenges within the company as well as promotion opportunities. So what does Alejandro like about OJT? Well, in my previous employment, it was kind of like, go figure it out. With your OJT coach, it was more of, I have your back and will pick you up if you fall. Now, in 2020, Alejandro has grown and has taken the director of operations role. Our last OJT success story is Christopher Mitchell. Christopher Mitchell worked for a city contractor and was laid off due to a reduction in force in October 2019. He started a job search, but was unsuccessful in part to having criminal marks on his background until he connected with an OJT recruiter. Christopher started with High Tech Concrete the end of November as a concrete pump operator as a result of that OJT contact. High Tech is a background friendly employer and was more interested in a person with punctuality, accountability, and applicants with transferable soft skills to perform with a high work ethic. Safety is a very high priority. Chris has shown exemplary attitude. His safety performance has been great. His willingness to learn is high. Chris's performance continues to excel. He assumes control on most of his jobs to complete the job under the watchful eye of his trainer. Chris continues to be a great asset, said Larry Merrill, the safety manager at High Tech Concrete. So how did OJT help Christopher? OJT helped Christopher connect to High Tech Concrete Pumping. High Tech is the only concrete pumping company in the Houston area that employs a full-time safety consulting company and a complete safety training course taken by all operators. His OJT coach worked with him on setting goals with an outcome focus, provided support and help with constructive feedback through progress reports. He passed all applicable tests, completed his OJT training, and was accepted in an apprenticeship program. Chris has been offered a full-time, regular non-apprentices job with the company after completing training and apprenticeship. After getting his commercial driving license, he will get a green light to drive by himself. So what does Christopher like about his job? In terms of his overall experience, he stated he's having an excellent experience with his practical and shadowing training. 
He told his OJ recruiter this opportunity changed his life and he's really excited to keep working. Let's review the common success factors for OJT participants. Each person receives support from Workforce Solutions, from counseling and help with the job search or interviewing to the OJT coach assistance when employed, such as Alejandro did in order to learn to express his contribution and highlight what he can do and get named Director of Operations. They also benefited from an employer willing to work with them and Workforce Solutions to train them and support them. They realized they needed to take a path along a roadway towards a goal that would give them long-term reward, like Alex striving to eventually become a private investigator. They didn't try to jump jobs for 25 cents an hour. They got satisfaction out of learning and completing training and employment in a new career, like Christopher, whose job with high tech, he said, was the best thing that ever happened to him. They also understand that they can't job hop in OJT. It's not the way to be employed for a lifetime and may not be able to participate in the future if they do. The success story exhibited basic work ethics. They were dependable and their employer knew they were there working to learn and to get the job done. They were reliable, owning what they should and being where they should be, such as Cindy Falker, who ended up being responsible to the whole Houston Furniture Bank facility each Monday. They were committed towards results, not only the items in their learning plans, but also to be a part of the team and getting their own goals done. Their attendance was stellar and rarely in question. Flexibility in many aspects was key. They used feedback to improve instead of complain, such as Alex Cullen taking the feedback on initiative and working out a plan to do more. They became a can-do person like Cindy, developing the system to credit departments at Houston Furniture Bank. They were willing to learn in a totally new area, like Alejandro's participation in extensive driving training. They used feedback like Christopher to continue with a positive attitude in working with coworkers, and they tried new approaches like Alex did in learning to coach teammates. Overall, successful OJT employees took responsibility for learning what was set out for them to achieve goals in their job and life for their own behavior in doing so, such as attendance or responsibility for making it happen. They knew no one was going to hand them success. These are what made OJT successful. They had support. They focused on long-term careers and their goal. They were reliable and dependable. They got results. Their attendance was stellar. They were flexible and not locked into one thing, and they took responsibility for what they needed to do and for themselves. So you're starting a new career, and you get a lot of information on the new job skills, etc., on your first day. This will stress to you that this is a career with a future, not to be abandoned just because a job down the street pays 25 cents an hour more. You'll be introduced to the OJT training schedule, communication, expectations, expected behavior. Onboarding to the company will occur, such as completing new hire documents, new employee briefing, and similar things. You'll meet key people, your OJT coach, your supervisor, and other people who are there to help your success. You will share a bit with them about yourself, too your aspirations, your goals, your life plans. The next 30 to 90 days, you'll be spending a significant amount of time shadowing experienced people and participating in training. It's a great way to meet and get to know coworkers. You'll be introduced to new skills as per your training plan and practice them. You'll have someone who'll keep tabs on your progress and help you. This is a time to show your commitment to the program and to communicating how you are doing, and also any issues or roadblocks, and ask questions to ensure your success. Stay in touch with your coach. You'll need to make sure issues that might be blocking you are surfaced. This could be talking with your coach about getting along with a coworker, or maybe if you had an issue with child or elder care. We've seen common characteristics which make OJT people successful in gaining a career, not just a job. 
There's several success factors that are common across OJT success stories, regardless of the position or the background of the person. OJT and Workforce Solutions there to help support the OJT employee and the employee uses them. From support services like clothing or childcare or coaching on the job for an OJT coach, we're here to help you to be successful. The OJT pro employee must commit to following the program. It's important that the OJT candidate ensure this job is a career they want and not just take it because it's there. With commitment comes success. Thank you for listening to the OJT Success Stories presentation. Best of luck in your OJT position.